Hey superstars, it's your best friend Scott and it is time for another commission video. I have been cranking these out and it feels good. Uh, today I'm doing marker doodles of Clayton Kershaw and Sandy Koufax for Brandon Jensen over there at Top Loaded. My BFF Brandon's been super supportive and super patient with me and I'm thrilled to finally get around to doing these for him. I seem to have a lot of Dodger loving friends like Brandon and Jesse who I did that Roy Campanella painting for last month. I just did a Shohei doodle from my countdown to opening day series and I was even watching a Dodgers spring training game as I wrote this script. So it's all Dodgers all the time, at least until the next commission. But uh, I try to get in the spirit of things over here at Reindeer Studios unless we're doing a Yankee commission. But then I just put on an uncomfortable fake smile and pretend to respect those guys. I'm kidding, sort of. The Dodgers are losing one nothing to my Guardians, but Teoscar Hernandez just hit a single to lead off the second, if you were wondering. Anyway, I reached out to Brandon to tell him that he was coming up on my commission list, and he had an interesting request. He wanted me to create a piece with Clayton Kershaw here and Sandy Koufax playing catch. It's a neat idea, you've got two dominant left-handed Dodger pitchers from different generations in one piece. Their last names even start with the same letter that happens to stand for strikeout, so you've got some crazy cosmic awesomeness there. But I, I had a little bit of an issue and I tried to plan this out very thoughtfully. As much as I like the idea, it would be rather difficult to portray this as a composition on a two-dimensional piece of paper. The way I see it, you have two subjects standing rather far apart. They either need to be placed so one is small and you only see the back of the other, or they need to be pretty far apart with a bunch of dead space between them. Neither option seemed to be ideal. Nice, Andre Semenis just hit a leadoff double. Um, I definitely don't want to focus on someone's back and you, you can obviously see that I'm drawing them from the side. They're way too close to be playing catch, but I have an idea and we'll get into that in a bit. But uh, I've given you the introduction and the conflict to the story, but it's way too early for the conclusion. So we'll just play some music. Crap, how do you get a leadoff double and not score? Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about. With the shorts that I've been doing this month, most of those are portraits. Wow, Gavin Lux just struck out on a pitch clock violation. Um, I, I really should focus on what I'm doing, I'm sorry. Anyway, those other pieces are portraits, but these or this, I guess, is more of a full body action composition. As the artist, I tend to prefer the portrait approach just because with that, I would have more of an opportunity to get a close likeness. Um, it's the same thing with baseball cards, right? I mean, you look at any cards that were illustrated like T206 or Diamond Stars, Gaudi, 50 Bowman or whatever. A lot of times the faces are so small in the action shots that they could be just about anybody. But I definitely understand why an action shot can be more appealing. There's more dynamic movement and uh, action, I guess. It's more exciting. Um, I've lost track of what my point was, but there's definitely a place for both approaches and playing catch would lend itself to action shots. Captain Obvious, at your service. Okay, there's Kershaw and Koufax playing catch, dangerously close to one another. Let's remedy that. I'll cut this right down the middle there, and voila, that's more like it. That was actually my plan all along, to have two separate pieces with a continuous background. I think it's pretty neat. I'm hoping Brandon does too. He told me to do whatever I thought would be cool, and when I'm the boss, there's going to be an X-Acto knife involved. Time for beauty shots. There's Mr. Kershaw and Mr. Koufax. I love a good challenge, so this was fun. Thanks again, Brandon, for all of your support and patience and allowing me to do this for you. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Love your hobby, make it unique to you, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and the Guardians beat the Dodgers five to one, if you were wondering. <laughs> 